After three years of literary effort, I was tired of scraping one idea after the other. I wanted to finally write a story from start to finish. How did I do that? We are the story Gibbons for Panpipe, and these are practical writing tips that will help you finish your first draft. This time, I would like to share some of our personal experience. Five years ago, I decided to pursue an old dream of mine, writing. Whether books, screenplays, or comic books, I wanted to craft stories of my own, create imaginary worlds, and heroes who courageously strive forward. I struggled with my first manuscript for three whole years. Time after time, I failed to complete even the first quarter of my book, let alone finish my first draft. But then, about two years ago, after learning countless writing tips from books, classes, and videos, I finally managed to crack the code that helped me start my literary journey. From no drafts in three years, I managed to write four books in one year and started to edit them lately. Before we outline the simple process, we remind you to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. There are many writing tips out there and many starting points that can fit your own story. But for me, the first step in removing my writing block was an online class of the author Brandon Sanderson's. Sanderson provides the simplest of outlines in this class, called the three Ps. According to Sanderson, every story has three major components, promise, progress, and payoff. At the beginning of every story, writers provide the audience with a promise regarding the type of story they are about to engage in and why they would enjoy it. For example, if my story contains elements of magic, I would need to present this at the beginning of the story. Then, the rest of the story is the delivery of the promise made at the beginning. It is the writer's task to show how the characters develop and evolve towards the promise given at the beginning of the story. If my hero starts as a spoiled brat, I must showcase scenes where he gradually changes and cares for others. Finally, in the payoff, all the plot lines would culminate into one final scene that delivers upon the promise made at the beginning of the story. If I set up menacing villains at the start, this is where the hero would face them for one final showdown. Build upon this simple foundation. What are you promising your readers? How will your characters progress towards that promise? And how will you fulfill the promise at the end of your book? The animated TV series of Avatar is a perfect example of that. It starts by promising us that the Avatar will master all four elements, showing us the progress the Avatar is making by learning how to bend the elements, and concludes at the final battle when the Avatar fulfills his destiny and uses all the four elements. However, I realized I still had a problem when I started writing. The story still felt out of focus, and my progress branched into two completely different payoffs. That, of course, could not work. Not on my first book. Even Game of Thrones, the convoluted first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series, has one clear and definitive payoff, setting the stage for the entire series. So, I examined yet again the story of The Last Airbender and found what I was missing. The show indeed promises us that the Avatar will become the master of all four elements. It shows us the progress across all three seasons and delivers upon their promise at the end. But there is an additional component, one important aspect that gives direction to our story, purpose. Aang must learn all four elements before the second coming of Sozon's Comet, or the Fire Lord will be unstoppable. Now, with a purpose set in place, our progress has both meaning and a sense of urgency. With the four Ps of my story in place, I was ready to craft my hero's journey. The final step to my first story was guided by the world of screenwriting. Daniel Calvacy is a screenwriter who wrote and read countless manuscripts. After years of experience, he has developed a model called Story Map. Since most stories struggle through the middle act and often lose direction in the middle, Calvacy divided the second act into two separate acts and provided a guide for writers so that they would be able to keep their screenplays focused and well-paced. We won't go into too many details here, since the Story Map deserves a video of its own but we can use the headlines Calvisi gave to each of his new acts. In Act 1, we set up the story's crisis and our hero's decision to solve the crisis. In Act 2, the hero takes action that leads to the midpoint. In Act 3, however, things fall apart, leading to Act 4, where we can find the final struggle and resolution. And that's it. That is all that I needed. My story started to take shape. In the first section of my book, I set the stage and crisis of the story. My hero decided to act upon the crisis, giving him an overarching purpose in the story. In the book's second part, my hero plans to deal with the crisis at hand while showing progress in character and mission. In the third section, all falls apart for my hero, propelling him into greater progress in the story toward the final struggle and resolution. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And always remember, start your story with a promise, continue with a purpose, keep drawing attention by showing progress, and finish with a fulfilling payoff. Do that, and you might be able to write and complete your first story. We were the story Gibbons for Panpipe, 
And until next time, stay curious and have fun.